I think it's just too difficult. And I understand that because like, I've also played Raw, but it's just... Like, like Goku putting his weighted training armor back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess kind of. I was I haven't been here in eight months, and at that time, Zagu was still playing Rob more often. I think. Oh, yeah, Rob, Rob used to be his main, and then as soon as... But he knew the minute Joker was announced as the DLC that he was going to switch off of Rob Three, to Joker. Two, one, and now he's going go. back to Cloud. All he right. lost a Joker, so now we're done with Joker. We're, we're now Cloud Cloud stage. So we've got a, a, a boxer and a sword in, in a sword fight. How's that going to work? But, I mean, Little Mac is so quick, and he has such power. And Matador has played... He's played Little Mac, like only Little Mac, to my knowledge. And he's made it all the way in Winner's Quarters, so I don't think he's scared of any sword or anime boy. <laughs> and I noticed... Matador's applying that side B a lot, and he's very deft with it. Let go of shield just a little too soon on that one. But right now, he's actually got a little bit of lead on Zagu right now, racking him up to 102 while he's at a nice little 66%. And th there's KO. the knockout punch is ready. Can he, can he land it? Oh, no. Oh. All right, he's able to make it back. I know that's one of like Little Mac's like known weaknesses is his offstage game Ooh. isn't necessarily existent. Oh, oh, there we go, but Matador making it look like it's okay. Nice counter from Matador. Oh. Uh, I respect the try. Oh, uh, it gets oh. caught with the limit break. Still, I mean, that was a, a, a very competent stock for, for, from Matador, how he played that up, right up until until he got caught in the, in the limit break. Now, now Matador is starting to fall a little bit more behind. Now uh, Zagu's not really letting him get in. Oh, he's got the knockout punch. And um, and Zagu's not not gonna let him land it. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. Wow, the tide has turned very quickly in this in this match. Yeah, I think Zagu kind of like he really found his momentum in this match, and he's not gonna let Matador mess that up. Can't throw off his groove. <laughs> I, I love I, I love that tilt. Just a one two punch, done. Now M Matador seems to be trying to play almost a little bit more patient, just a little bit. He's trying to tr trying to read, trying to anticipate, but Zagu's just kind of dancing him around him. Oh, oh, oh no. no! That is so unfortunate. Just ever so slightly enough off stage. Got little Mac gift. Still, I mean, I have have mad, mad respect for 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 him using the little Mac no matter what. At the beginning, there it was pretty compelling. I mean, that's his name. That's his character. Oh yeah. So I wonder what a little Mac needs to, to, to do to, to win against a cloud. You know, it's hard to say. I really don't see a lot of like little Macs. But I always feel like characters that don't have a disjoint will always have I guess a difficult time finding their way in against a you know, a character that does have a yes. sword or like a disjoint just because of Oh, oh. Caught in that limit break. Mm. It's also going to be hard if Zagu's able oh. to really. Oh! I mean, he tried at, trying to land the KO punch, got him killed. I mean, you got to try to land it when you got it. Mm. This I'm time, Matador's keeping a little bit, a little bit more distance. At Zagu, yeah, see, he gets see Matador's getting caught in the air, and then Zagu literally is just like, "You can stay there, like it's fine." <laughs> Yeah, Zagu is literally just the moment that. Oh, oh. So, I mean. How do you like them apples? How do you like <laughs> it when you get pushed too far off the stage? Probably not very well. Mm. He's gonna want to try to land the knockout punch, but Zagu is not gonna let him. Oh. oh. I, I, you know he's gotta go. You know he's oh, trying yeah. to go for it though. That's. Nice air dodge from Zagu or spot dodge, I should say. There we go. Hold the shield. There we go. I'm loving. I always forget <laughs> how fast Little Mac is, like on the crown. Like. Oh yeah. I mean, he's got to be. Oh. 
one of the fastest on the ground characters, I think. Just the acceleration is just something else. Hmm. He just kind of turtles and then just chugs like jolts across the stage. Matador seems to be turning the tide of this particular stock a little bit. Just getting in and uh, shielding at the right moments. Nice side B. I think he's waiting to also. Oh, oh what okay. happened? Miss input, maybe? Does the limit, limit break up B would have recovered. Nice juggling going on from Matador here. Matador seems much more composed now. I think he's kind of figured out that the bet, ooh, the best strategy here, I think, fighting uh, Zagoo's Cloud is probably just to wait for Zagoo to, you know, whiff something and get a punish in. But Zagoo's ooh, already. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's, he was too far. I mean, he he wouldn't have recovered anyway. But yeah. But then getting caught. He might have. I don't know. I don't. Matador over there was actually making Little Max recovery not look so bad. Oh yeah, <laughs> so he was. Like, he could have recovered, but that limit break was definitely gonna. End it right there. Oh, how did I never notice that Little Mac, when he when he loses, he's got bruises and bandages. <laughs> oh. Still, that that was a pretty pretty fun match, and I liked I liked seeing you as you said how how Matador, you know, he, I mean, he made Little Mac's recovery not look so bad, and he, he did a, a a pretty a pretty fair job against against Z Zagoo's Cloud. I mean, that last stock for a good thirty seconds, it was looking like he might have been able to turn it around. Yeah, we, Zagoo's it, a bully. Aww.